हम खोलेंगे अपना रेडियो स्टेशन ये है देश का रेडियो सेट अगेंस्ट द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ द 1942 क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट ए वतन मेरे वतन हेल्प बाय कनन अय्यर हु हैज रिटर्न्ड टू द डायरेक्टर्स चेयर अ डेकेड आफ्टर हिज डायरेक्टोरियल डेब्यू एक थी डायन इन 2013 attempts to narrate the story of Usha Mehta a 22 year old college girl who ran an underground radio station Congress Radio to counter the British controlled AIR the film aims to capture the pivotal role Mehta and the Congress Radio played in igniting the flames of resistance against British colonial rule however what unfolds on the screen is not a gripping tale of bravery and sacrifice but rather a clumsy attempt that glorifies the congress as the beacon of hope for the nation days ahead of general elections while attempting to portray india's struggle for independence e vatan mere vatan fails into the trap of simplistic narratives the film glosses over the complexities of the era reducing significant events to mere plot devices e vatan mere vatan fails to effectively convey the gravity of the freedom struggle the characters feel more like caricatures than fully fleshed out individuals and the dialogue delivery is devoid of any emotions and nuance the focus of the film is diverted towards superficial romantic subplots and exaggerated portrayals of villainous british officers the plot follows a linear trajectory offering few surprises to keep the audience's hope Also instead of immersing the audience in the tremendous challenges of the times the film opts for surface level storytelling that miserably fails to engage or inspire Does A Vatan Mere Vatan live up to the hype The film is unbearable thanks to Sara Ali Khan who portrays the protagonist Usha Mehta Her portrayal of the young freedom fighter lacks depth emotion and conviction feeling to capture the essence of Mehta's courageous spirit her dialogue delivery feels forced her expressions mismatched especially in scenes where she is uttering the iconic gandhian slogan karo ya maro which means do or die and thumping her chest while chanting vande mataram it's a struggle to watch the actress last scene in homi adhajaniya directed murder mubarak essaying the role of the glamorous bambi todi a prime suspect in the who done it the 22 year old has struggled to deliver a worthwhile performance in a 7 year long career that includes box office debacles such as love ajkal 2 simba and kuli number no. 1 to name a few in e vatan mere vatan sara's performance overall lacks the gravitas required to bring to the big screen the inspiring story of the fearless revolutionary leaving a glaring void at the heart of the film she is a complete miscast the film further falters due to its weak screenplay pacing and structure scenes lack cohesion and continuity the melodramatic moments between the protagonist and the father played by sachin khadekar detract from the overall narrative flow additionally the rapid progression of events towards the climax when ram manohar lohia played by imran hashmi in charge of carrying out the underground activities sends the message of bharat roko to freedom fighters and volunteers across the nation via congress radio feels unrealistic however hashmi shines in his role bringing sincerity to the character oday chandra who plays gandhi has a blink and miss role Meanwhile Abhay Verma and Sparsh Shivastav's efforts are overshadowed by Sara's lackluster portrayal of the protagonist. Now coming to the question of whether you should go to the theaters and watch the film or skip it, A Vatan Mere Vatan is marred by its poor execution, uninspiring dialogues, subpar performances and disappointing depiction of key events that led to the movement that paved the way for india's independence at 132 minutes the film does very little to tell the audience about the unsung freedom fighter padma vibhushan awardee usha mehta the crucial role she played in the freedom movement 
and the immense sacrifices she made at a very young age. You can skip this movie and you wouldn't be missing out on much. My verdict, E Vatan Mere Vatan fails to do justice to the remarkable story of one of India's original radio journalists. The film is a forgettable addition to the genre of historical biographies.